Wait. Do you see? Probably not. It. God, this guy's just a blank slate. My God. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Mass. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. Well, you're a B word. Jeez. Trevor surveys his domain. Excuse me, Mr. Matson? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm, I'm sure, sure she, she told you why. why. Did she, she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Soldier, you don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up now. Oh, well, you're a bright ray of sunshine. I just wanted to see if you could help me, but oh well. I still have time. I could, I could go, go see, see Warren playing, playing mad scientist in the lab. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. Me too. Aww. That looks like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, Yo Maxwell Smart. Smart. Talk, Talk later, later. cool? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Don't be nice. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh yes, I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doesn't protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. 
So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Oh, okay. You're sort of cool, I guess. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer! Perfect timing! I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Let's go, sodium. I have a vision. Go Godium. Godium? That's the worst one I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is! Don't blow up. Don't Damn. blow up. Zip. Nothing. We will fix this. Think, big brain. Think. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver. Asking me. Have that. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but. Go. Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Oh, thanks, I guess. Weird, Weird science. Yes, yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Yes, I am a scientist. This can't be that hard. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. That's a minor fail. Bring me the brain, Igor. Talk to Miss Grant. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Okay. Thanks again for taking a stand oh. against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. <laughs> Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. Yeah. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. No, I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max, we'll talk again. Real soon. Okay. Sort of scaring me. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Look all the vaccination that we just Go up in space. Hey, Warren. Are you? Maxwell's. Asking. Have that. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. 
Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Okay, let's see this thing. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't, Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. <laughs> Perfect. Oh no. That was fine helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full on dick mode. Let's make him hey, <laughs> have a lot of potassium and see what happens. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Oh, Let's God. do this thing. <laughs> she blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? <laughs> that was pretty cool. Let's, let's do the actual hey. thing. Pass up. Password. Chlorine. Rock. Chlor. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't, Don't be so modest. Hi, Hi Max. Making your daily rounds? I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. Oh, jeez. How's your, How's your drone? drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Tell her it's smart to stay out of all the drama. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like this. Perfect. Alyssa really lives for her classes. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Oh, okay. What's, What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. <laughs> Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. Okay, de Costa. <laughs> That's, That's a, a great, great sketch, sketch of Dana. Daniel, Daniel is the real, real deal. deal. No, no time to talk, talk Max. Posing, posing in progress. It's, it's hard, hard to, to not like Hayden, Hayden because he, he just doesn't, doesn't give a shit. I'm, I'm kind, kind of doing, doing something now, Max. Do you, you think, think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. No yeah, time to talk next. Fuck in progress. Or, or she'll, she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, Jefferson like, like he gives a shit. shit. Like, like anybody does. does. Max is such a... You better be quiet, Victoria. We, we have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie at this moment. Yeah, yeah, Max, so, so I, won't I won't forget, forget you. Freaking ah, psycho
Oh, look at that. On your face. You've been scratched by someone. Who the hell scratched you, huh, you stupid asshole? Ugh. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, which um, because of him. didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit down and see what to cover today. See you, Warren. So little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. I guess Kate in this class now. Sounds like you're giggling about a video. I'm worried about her. Maybe it involves a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. I got a message, damn it. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at them. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in mind. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Oh, dang. Dismissed. Is this for real? It flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Oh, God. Kate! No! Oh, God. I, I have to do something to help her. Oh, no. Is that Kate? Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. It's trying to get to her, but he just can't move fast enough. How am I going to do this? Can't fit through there. What do I 
do? Oh my god, what do I do? Do it, please. <gasps> what are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Did you come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday, Max? Sorry, Kate. I, I thought I could help, but not, not by taking a picture. picture. I'm, I'm ashamed. ashamed. I, I know, know you're scared, scared of David. He's scary. And I know you only want to help. I let you down, and I'm sorry. I only want to help you. I wish you could. It's too late now. There's nothing for me here anymore. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know, I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing! Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Prescott? That, that makes sense. sense. He's, He's a, a scumbag. scumbag. You, you have, have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. And then everybody at Blackwell posts pics of my body. I'm on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore, either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only ten. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Oh my god. Oh my god.